Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet, and this is going to be game two of the quarterfinal between uh, between Hyun and Stardust. So, yeah, Hyun down the bottom left side of the map, and Stardust down the bottom right side of the map. And we are in a very nice big map right here. So, uh, yeah, going to be seeing some crazy stuff going on this game. Although we we saw some crazy stuff going on last game, man. I mean. Sorry, Stardust going for a, a seven gate off two uh, of two bases, almost worked, but uh, Hyun just managed to hold it off with an insane amount of roaches coming out of three bases, and Stardust not quite able to take out a hatchery there, although it was uh, it was pretty close I think, and then from then on Hyun just um, yeah just harassed Stardust third base like a complete boss and just got a stupidly large of ro amount of roaches man he just had roaches coming out left right and center didn't tech up at all it just got roaches and Stardust just um yeah Stardust went for Colossus and in the end he didn't have enough he didn't have enough to uh, hold off his third base and it was awesome man in the end he had his army like out in the middle somewhere here or out here and he just was completely surrounded by roaches. One, 360 degrees, roaches surrounding. And he had a fairly decent army, but it was just... Oh, man. It's like if you've seen uh, Lord of the Rings, the third movie, where the uh, the army is surrounded by orcs and there's just like a million orcs around them. That's basically what it was, man. It was seriously that many roaches just completely surrounding them. And it's freaking awesome. So if you haven't seen Game 1, definitely do go check it out. And... Yeah, it looks like this play is going to be fairly standard. Stardust actually building a little bit defensively here, building close. Uh, I'm not sure why you would be doing that. I'd assume on this map you'd be going for a fairly, fairly early Nexus. Because I mean it's so safe on such a big map, but he's not actually doing that. And it looks like uh, Hyun actually went for a pull before Hatch, if I'm seeing the map correctly, so... Both players on this huge, huge map, they're going for a... They're not really going for eco-first builds sort of stuff. But it looks like he's, yeah, he's thinking about it, no? There we go, he's thinking about it right now. He actually... I think he cancelled something, actually, to uh, get that out nice and fast. Because his mineral count just jumped up by 100 for no reason, so he must have cancelled something. Uh, but there, there we go. Actually, um, probably waiting until the Overlord passed over. To actually, uh, to actually get that Nexus. So hoping that uh, he's uh, hoping that he's fooled Hyun. Of course he hasn't because Hyun is going to send in these two links. And these two links, yes, not going to be uh, not going to be well received in the Protoss base. But neither is this probe in the Zerg base. So uh, not not very happy with each other at the moment. But the Mothership Core is going to come out, and these two links are going to get scared off nice and quickly. And there we go. So the probe's big brother is going to come in and he's going to knock all the bullies out of the park. And of course that's just as it should be. I'm not sure where this probe is going. Maybe going for a proxy pylon, but I wouldn't think you'd need to go that far. Just maybe over here at the uh, furthest I'd probably build it, but I don't know. Maybe he's scouting. Maybe he feels like somebody else snuck into this game. Or proxy stargate. That's what it's got to be, man. He's doing a crazy proxy stargate up the top side here. Uh, yeah, there's got to be a proxy star game, man. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, so yeah, that's going to be interesting. A couple more gateways coming down here. He's going to wall this off nicely. And oh, this is going to be pretty awesome. It's going to be so awesome. The Zerg player actually knocking out a lot of workers nice and early, getting the economy up. He doesn't feel at all threatened by the Protoss player right now. So he's choosing to go for a lot of early economy, and, you know, why not? It's, it seems like a pretty good choice. And there we go. Look at this, man. Look at the, all this early gas. That's definitely got to be for an early Stargate. Come on, where is it? Where is it? Don't make me look like an idiot. There we go, early Stargate. So, yeah, really, really nice. Um, He hasn't quite got the gas on the third and fourth, so I don't know if it's going to be that insane of a Stargate. Holy crap, there's a second Stargate. All right, you gotta get the you got to get the gas on the third and the fourth, man. If he's going to be double pumping out Void Rays or some shit like that. There we go. One goes down, the other goes down, man. Ah, oh, this is going to be absolutely insane. And he can run in here. He could quickly chrono out four Void Rays. Well, it's, it's going to be a pain to get four Void Rays out. But he can do that. 
and then he can start to really get some stuff done. And the uh, Overlord's going to come in here. He's going to see a Gateway, a Cyber Core, and yeah, he's going to see a couple of stuff there. And he's, he's maybe he's going to be a little bit worried right now. Although this Sentry's going to be a little bit worried, man. Just getting the Force Field out, and the Overlord's going to be saying, "All right." Put doing his overlord checklist. Twilight Council? Nope. Robotics facility? Nope. Uh, five or six gateways? Nope. We have a problem here. There are, there are some buildings here that they're not here. So uh, what the hell's going on? And the Zerg player is going to start to be a little bit worried, I'm guessing. But I don't know. What can he do, man? Two Void Rays coming out. Is he going to go in with two Void Rays, or is he going to wait for another two? It looks like he's going to wait for another two. I like this decision. You give a, you go in with just four Void Rays instead of two. Where's, where's the next one coming? You've got to get the second Void Ray out. Oh, actually, he's currently building two. There we go. Now, don't go out. Just wait, wait. Just don't go in quite yet. Just wait. You want to leave the element of surprise to the absolute last second. Although there are some lings running around, are they going to go up the top left? They're not that crazy. They don't think that he actually built this far back. But with four Void Rays, he's actually choosing to go out with three. And the fourth one is going to be rallied onto these guys. And Alright, three is alright. Three, you can snipe a queen quite easily. And yeah, man, he doesn't really have much. He's going to lose this base, no doubt of that at all. And he's, he's just going to have to get up a ton of spore crawlers, man. He sees the three Void Rays. And, yeah, here we go. The Lings, they're like, oh, crap. Having a look. They're going to see this Stargate. And a fourth one coming out. So, yeah, he can, he can do quite a lot with this, actually. He can snipe quite a lot of queens and stuff like that. I don't know how well he's going to do at a base with multiple spores, though. Look at this, man. Four spores. He put them all at the expansion. And a fifth one over here, so... Talk about defense, man. Talk about defense. And this Void Raid coming in, and he's going to be like, yeah, that's not going to happen. A um, couple of spores coming over here as well. He knows that he's got a little bit more time to uh, save this base. But he's going to put in a few, and probably a couple more there as well, because four Void Raids is very, very scary. The Void Raid is going to resort to just taking out all these Lings. And, of course, once the Lings go down, then this army is a little bit more free to actually attack. But, oh, look at this, man. Massive amount of stuff coming in. Massive amount of lings. He should be able to hold this in with some warped in units. But he needs a sentry and he needs a force field. There we go. He's just got to completely block it off. Have a couple more stalkers in here. And just go nuts. He should be fine. And here comes the army here. But an army of queens as well. And four void rays. I feel like they could peel away the queens. But they would probably lose quite a bit. And he's got a losing battle here. The gateway coming down. The forge just about to come down. He's trying to hold on. Just... I, I don't think he's got a surround here. I don't think he's got a complete defense, but he's just got a ton of zealous warping in. And he might be able to hold it off here. He might. He's going to get the links down to a stupidly low number anyway, so... Yeah. Just... Man, oh man, he's completely blocked it off. No, no, he didn't actually. That... Ah. So Ling reinforcements coming in, and the Mothership called warping them all back to save this base. So really, really nice job here. These Lings are all over there. We've got some Zealots reinforcing in there, so they're going to take care of those. And yeah, doing a great job managing to hold that off. But, ah, man. The Void Rays, they killed this third base, and that's good, but I feel like they could have done more. I feel like for getting four Void Rays and two Stargates out, he really expected to do more with that. And he really didn't, because Huon Man just got the Spore Callers up so fast and such a large amount. So he really knew, and here we go. Gonna try and do something here. But the transfusion's going down like a crazy bastard. And he's gonna try, but... Oh, man, the transfusion's so good. You might get one of them down there. No, no, a transfusion coming down. And he's gonna have to run here. His Void Rays are gonna have to run. Although the ground forces are getting in, and the Queens, man, they were so... They were so on the Void Rays. They were so into getting the Void Rays down that they forgot about the ground units and all the queens going down. And now these spore crawlers are going to be in a lot of trouble. Infestors coming down though, a nice fungal coming down. And that's actually quite a bit of infestors. So this is, I don't know. I mean, I thought it was good, but the infestors coming out, doing the fungals, it is not going to be good. And a whole bunch of spine crawlers coming down as well. So this base is going to be sealed up. And maybe these void rays should just go ahead and kill the third base again, because I feel like that would be nice and easy. 
He's continued to push in and continuing to get stuff done. He's actually really, really pushing in. The infested Terran's actually going down. A lot of the spores going down. But you, he needs uh, he needs some observer here, I feel like, because those guys are underground and infested Terrans under the Void Rays is not going to be a good sign. But the force is continuing to go out, man. The infested the infestors just don't have enough energy left. Trying to move out the spore crawlers to try and take out the void rays, but the ground force is more than enough to take out the spore crawlers. And it looks like he may actually get it here, may actually get the uh, natural expansion down. And of course, the third is wide open, so he can definitely take that, but if he takes out the natural, then that is going to be, oh, that's going to be all sorts of bad news, man. And how many gateways does he have? He's got eight gates, so this is a, uh, this is a sort of modified what he tried to do last game, man. He um, tried to go for a seven gate. And this time, he went in for a double proxy star gate into a 7 gate. And this is really, really awesome, man. Just really, really awesome. I mean, the Void Rays, they, the Void Rays forced Hyun to do a whole bunch of things. He forced him to get a whole lot of Spore Crawlers, forced him to get a ton of Queens. But the Void Rays, as, I mean, they killed the third base, and that was awesome, but the Void Rays were never, never the real threat. The real threat was the 8 gate which came after it and I suppose it was probably held back quite a bit by this beautiful Ling Harass in here taking out a whole bunch of gateways and stuff like that but he just went straight on with getting the gate so he didn't even build up the that's the thing he didn't even build up the forges again he has no forges so you can tell because he was get, getting no forges up he was not going for a late game approach not even going for a real mid game approach he just wanted to end it in. He wanted to transition into the 7 gate off the Void Ray offensive. And because Hyun had so many queens, had so many spore crawlers, all that sort of stuff, his, and because he was trying to tech up for a unit to counter the Void Rays, which is the Infestors, he didn't have a Roach Warren. He didn't have a Roach Warren. And because he didn't have a Roach Warren, the 7 gate just blew everything away. I mean, he was worried about the Void Rays. Everybody was worried about the Void Rays, man. The Void Rays up in the air. And it's like, oh, Void Rays here, Void Rays there. I didn't even realize there were just an insane amount of ground forces suddenly on the map from Stardust. It's just like, hello. Ground forces everywhere, and they're just owning everything. The Void Rays are basically not really doing much, but it didn't matter because there's so many ground forces. And really, really great transition, man. That is a great build. Proxy. Double Stargate Void Ray into <laughs> into seven gate off two bases, man. One of the best builds I've ever seen versus Zerg, and man, oh man, was it effective, man. Hyun just uh, Hyun just did not know what to do, man. He needed roaches. He was trying to get out the lings. He was trying to get out the infestors to counter the Void Rays. Ah, oh, it was just bad. It was just bad. He was obviously expecting a lot more Void Rays with getting out these infestors, but. Stardust, man. He's, he stopped the Void Ray production. He didn't continue it. He just went for a massive 7 gate. And I mean, I guess I guess Hyun was perhaps expecting, expecting, sorry, um, after losing those two Stargates that Stardust would try and go into a bit more macro, but he didn't. He went from one crazy attacking uh, thing into another crazy attacking thing, straight in. Straight onto the 7 gate. And he just got a crap load of units. And Really, really nice. I don't, I'm not sure if I agree with Hyun getting the Infestors, man. I mean, they're good versus Void Rays, but Stardust didn't have that many Void Rays. And they, they, they weren't that good versus the Zealots. They did alright versus the Zealots, but for their cost, I feel like they did do the maximum. I feel like maybe transitioning into Hydra's better? A little bit better. I mean, not super better, but not as good as transitioning into Roaches, but... Yeah, Ro Roaches, I don't know, see if you transition into Roaches, then Stardust would have just stepped up the Void Ray production again, and I don't know, I feel like, I feel like this over here was when Hyun made the mistake, made a really big mistake, and that was sending all of his Queens out to chase down the Void Rays, and he took like two of the Void Rays down here, but then all the ground units came down, surrounded the Queens, and the Queens all died, and he lost like five or six Queens here. And that was when, that was when Stardust pushed, and with no queens left over, man, the, the Void Rays were that much scarier, and yeah, the ground army was just so scary. So great job there by Stardust, taking it back 
to a one-all game, a one-all series so far, and really, really nice. I, 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 I said at the uh, start of the series, this is going to be close, man, and my God, was it close. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in game number three. This has been Harry Muppet. I hope you enjoyed this series.